All right, so now that we have our tiles, right, the actual dirt, the question becomes, how do we interact with them? Well, this is why, and this is kind of where we go back to the Area 2D. This is why we use an Area 2D. Area 2D is allow us to interact with the player. So let's add a script here, and we'll add this to our scripts folder. And we can create a new folder here for the dirt. Add it in. Hit OK. Create. And here we go. Now in here, I'm going to delete all the code we have and add a few new things. The first thing we're going to add is a label to our uh, dirt here. And this will allow us to just essentially tell the player, the user, right, the person actually playing the game, what to do. And generally, what to do will be something along the lines of press E, uh, e to harvest or press E to wait or something like that, right? Now you can see here that this is quite big. So what we can do is go to the uh, layout, the transform, and just scale it down. Now we can hover this over our plant wherever you'd like. Now one thing that I'm going to kind of tell you to do is the Z index. Uh, if we actually search up Z index, I think we can get it here. Now the Z index, uh, let's actually hit play and I'll show you kind of why we need to play with this. If we kind of look at our game over here, you can see that the, it's kind of hard to see, but the labels will end up going behind uh, some other things, specifically like the player. So what we want to do, and what we actually want to do here is put our player above the tile map, so that way we can actually see the player. And what we'll do real quick is add a camera to our player, go to the inspector tab, go to the zoom, and we'll zoom in, maybe to two. Now when we hit play, it should be easier to see. All right, so now you can kind of see uh, that the labels kind of overlap each other. And if I go on top of it, I, I, the player, am now on top of the label. And we want the text to be on top of most things. So again, searching up as the index, this will allow us to essentially put this on top of everything else. So Z index, think of it as the essentially 3D, right? In 3D, we have X and Y. We also have Z. Z is essentially the ordering of what's in front and what's behind. So obviously, we're not going to be doing 3D, but that's the idea of the Z index. All right. So now what we can do is load our label. So I'm going to drag this in and hit Control before I drop. And now it'll on ready variable instantly for us. All right, so it's very quick and easy. Next, what I can do is I can hide in my ready function my label. So I'm going to hide my label by default in my ready function. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my dirt plant area, go to node, body entered, and connect this. And here we go. Here is our signal. When I connect this, I want to first check for the player. Now we can see that the body is one of the things that enter in this function. So what I can do is I can check the body dot name is equal to player. Now we're going to change this in a bit, but we have to make sure that the capitalization is the exact same as this. So in fact, we might as well just copy paste it. Next, what we can do is we can say label dot show. And here we go. We now have a way to show our plant. Now, if we exit the body or this area, which is a, also a signal, so body exited, we can connect this. And instead of showing the label, we can copy paste this and just hide it. So now when I hit play, you will see if I go on top of one of these plants, I can now start uh, interacting with them. Now you can see though that there's a problem. The problem is the uh, interaction is on top of two of them. Now, there's a actually specific reason why we started uh, doing this with the tile size. However, the other thing we need to make sure that we adjust is the starting position of our player. Now, essentially, the starting position of our player itself needs to be a, a multiple of 16. So I'm going to start at 136 and 172. So now when I hit play, I'm essentially in a tile. So I'm only interacting with one tile at a time. All right now, I do actually recommend, and this is kind of up to you, is to make these 
interactions, this area, a little smaller. So now, when I hit play, you'll see that I can hide before going to the next one. So it's a little easier. Another recommendation that we're not going to really do in this video, we might do a little later, is this uh, font. Now you can see that it's a little blurry in the actual game, and that is just because uh, this font is really, it's the default. It's not very great for what we want. So I do recommend importing a different font and using that. Um, I might actually scale up the text a little to 0.3. That might help a little bit. And one other thing we're going to adjust before we and this is we're going to actually increase the size of our label and we're going to scroll up, go to the horizontal center on the top or center on both. And then on the auto wrap, we're going to turn that on to word smart. Right, so now when I change this text, which I will later, it can automatically center and wrap it around itself. So now we can have a little bit of a cleaner text. And there we go. So that is essentially the basic idea of interaction interaction with something, right? So we essentially use areas to detect the player, stuff like that. All right, so in the next part, we'll take a look uh, first at a better way of checking for the player uh, using grouping. And then the, we'll also go into actually interacting and what we can do with the interaction.